Imagine being stuck in a room with six strangers and you can't get out. The only way is by working together. Will they make it? Or will they die trying? Make sure you watch till the end. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins with Ben falling into a room of antiques. He is in a hurry to decode a safe as he starts to pick clues from around him. The room starts contracting and Ben doesn't crack the code in time as the walls close in like a burger with him as the meat and cheese. Flashback to three days earlier in Chicago, Zoe is attending class. Jason is a high-flying fund manager. Bill works at the back end of a packaging store. But before Jason leaves to go home that day, he receives a mysterious box that he ignores. Zoe is having a bad dream and wakes up. Her roommate spots a package outside their door. Everyone else has gone on break. Ben received his box while punching out after work. The three initial characters are all shown trying to figure the box out. Eventually, their little boxes produce an invite voucher. Ben is at the building address from the invite voucher and Amanda has just arrived. She checks in at the front desk. Danny enters the elevator with her for the third floor. Once there, they meet up with some others. Mike introduces himself. Jason and Zoe are already there. Ben arrives last. They all converse a little and Ben excuses himself to go smoke. On his way out, the door handle breaks. To Danny, this means the escape room game has started in earnest. He urges everyone to start looking for clues around the waiting room. Zoe reads a clue in a book and tries it on the door. Instead, it triggers a room heating mechanism. It's getting warmer as Zoe again spots a key that is supposed to open the receptionist's cubicle. It is only a dummy, but the phone there rings. Jason picks and once he drops, the strong room mode is activated. They're all on edge now until Zoe finds another clue. They're supposed to depress some bottoms on the table and this action opens a single vent duct. Jason volunteers to go in first, then Mike follows soon after with a screwdriver, then Amanda goes in. Meanwhile, the number of hands holding down the six buttons slowly diminishes. Zoe has the idea to use full glasses of water to hold them down, however, the water is barely enough. But Ben and Danny improvise just in time to escape as the waiting room is engulfed in flames. In the next room, they are to open two locks on the door. Jason easily finds a key. The second lock, however, requires a seven-letter word. Ben recalls an incident from his past and determines the word is Rudolph. The door opens to a snow-covered landscape. Soon enough, it starts to get colder as they begin to look for clues. Mike finds a fishing pole. Ben stumbles upon a hole in the ice. Zoe soon produces a magnet she finds with the help of some intelligent clues. When putting together the fishing pole, the hole, and the magnet which they're supposed to sink, they pull out a block of ice with a key at its center. Now they need Ben's lighter, to which he reluctantly throws towards them. Danny volunteers to retrieve it, but then falls through the ice. There is panic as they try to rescue him, but to no avail. They are sad, but have to rally themselves. They decide to warm the block of ice the old-fashioned way. It's difficult, but eventually, Jason pulls out the key and uses it as they all hurry to the new door in the nick of time. They are in yet another room now. It's an upside down bar. As they start to look for clues, the floor beneath them begins to give way into a sheer drop. They are mostly left hanging for dear life until Zoe decodes a puzzle to open a safe with everyone's help. The eight ball is inside. It doubles as the missing doorknob. Amanda then tries to climb to where the others are but drops the ball without which they are stuck. So, to save their chances, she goes for it and ends up falling into the abyss. That was truly heroic. The remaining four enter the next room now. It looks like a warehouse. In it, a few hospital beds have been reproduced in detail. These hospital beds are supposed to be the ones they each recovered on. It turns out they have been specifically chosen as the sole survivors of personal accidents. A TV comes on with a five-minute countdown as they panic. Zoe thinks the answer is to destroy the surveillance cameras. Jason notices the poison gas. Mike and Ben find a clue in some x-ray pictures which point them to an EKG machine. Jason uses it on Mike unsuccessfully or fatally even. He then tries it on himself. The poison gas is activated but Jason saves the day with his use of the EKG machine. Another door is opened as Jason gets in. Ben follows him in, but Zoe is determined to stay behind as she is shown fainting. In the next room, 
Jason and Ben find a hatch which they try to open. By touching it, they are infected with a hallucinogenic. They now have to find the antidote as the latest clue directs. Ben finds it first but has to fight for it with a fitter Jason. Somehow, Jason cracks his skull in the struggle and Ben uses the single dose antidote. The final doorway, or is it manhole, beckons. Ben falls through and we are reminded of the start of the movie. Zoe, on her part, has discovered an anomaly. She is pretending to be unconscious and when the cleaners come to clear her body and Mike's, she pounces on them and takes their gun. She goes into the exit. Ben is being squeezed to death when an escape door avails itself. He is ushered into what looks like a factory. The so-called Game Master appears and announces to Ben that he has won. It's a blatant lie. He tries to kill Ben in order to even the odds, but Zoe appears and shoots at him. Even the Game Master himself is now in play as he struggles with Zoe. They are the last two contestants now. Or are they? Ben appears from the dead, figuratively, and knocks the Game Master out. To be sure, he is also shot as Ben and Zoe leave the arena. Ben is recuperating at the hospital when an officer requires Zoe's attention. She is back at the escape room building, but the evidence has all been obliterated. She sounds like she is crazy as she insists she is not. Six months later, Ben and Zoe are having lunch outdoors when she moots the idea of finding who is behind all of this. She has a clue that points to New York and convinces Ben to come along on a flight. But the escape room overseers are already onto her and Ben too. Will you ever enter an escape room after watching this? Leave it in the comments below. Escape Room is part of a series and this installment was released in 2019. It was produced by Sony Entertainment in collaboration with Columbia Pictures and Original Films. It starred Taylor Russell and Logan Miller, as well as Deborah Wall, Tyler Levine, Nick Dodani, and Jay Ellis. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.